Hey YouTube, this is Megawatt Productions, and today in this video, I'll be collaborating with my mate Jack to test out his newly made quadcopter and introduce ourselves to aerial photography. Jack's quadcopter includes the following specs. Earlier this week, the quadcopter had a successful maiden flight. When we first attached the GoPro, it was mounted by sticky tape to the front of the frame. This was an immediate failure as the motors could not compensate for a front heavy load. As you can see, every time we tried to take off, the quadcopter would do a front flip. Next we tried mounting the GoPro centered on top of the frame. After making a few adjustments due to the high center of gravity, we started to see more promising results. managed to capture some great FPV flying and crashes. You may have noticed that last week we couldn't attach a GoPro beneath the quadcopter. This was a clearance issue because the stilts are too short. It was fixed by attaching coat hanger wire to the existing stilts, raising the quadcopter off the ground and leaving room for the GoPro. Due to bad weather conditions, we started off in the carport just to make sure everything was working. The new wire stilts seem to be working well as they absorb the landing shock. When the rain died down, we took the quadcopter around to the oval. Yeah. Alright, flip it over. The weight of the GoPro and a low centre of gravity made takeoff difficult. <laughs> Maybe just go up a bit faster. Yeah, go. After a few failed takeoffs, we finally got it off the ground. It's not going to start there for very long, that was the bottle. We tried tilting the GoPro back so it was closer to the frame of the quadcopter. Is it better? Yeah, heaps. That's just why I was quarter throttle, uh, three quarter throttle. Really? Yeah, but yeah, it won't go higher. Really? Yeah. Really? That was, that's full throttle. That came in on full throttle. The low centre of gravity didn't seem to be working, so we took off the wire stilts and put the GoPro back on top of the quadcopter. This is not an optimal position for the GoPro because we want a slightly downward view. Hang on, the throttle. Yeah, funny. It's obviously got that top heavy part aspect, but besides that, it's just down. But not now though, because that's full throttle. Along with the slight breeze, the GoPro was just too heavy for the quadcopter. We ended up completely removing the GoPro. Oh. Yeah, that battery's dead. I'll try and <laughs> Always something wrong. <laughs> With no payload and a fresh battery, we finally got in some decent flying. <laughs> 